Hello and welcome to my channel. One of the problems that organizers of workshops, conferences and seminars sometimes face is creating the certificates for the participants. We need to depend a lot on the printing press people and to get the things done and it's really time consuming. But a good way to avoid this problem is to generate certificates instantly using LaTeX and CSV file. And uh, I have uh, created lots of such certificates uh, using this LaTeX software and CSV file. So today I'll going, um, I am going to share the details with you uh, how to create certificates using LaTeX. So first of all, uh, the, um, we should create a certi uh, folder in our system. Say here I have created uh, a folder called certificates. So here this folder will uh, contain all the files images, logos that, has, that are necessary for uh, making our certificate. So usually certificates are made in A4 size paper. So we will uh, make a background image, uh, the design of the certificate in an A4 size document. Okay. So here I have created it using a photo editing software. Uh, I have used some background images. Um, this was used for some mathematical program that we had organized workshop. Um, few years back so uh, many of the backgrounds are available in uh, internet also you can just search in google but we, we need to be careful that uh, the size of the image has to be of a4 size so that it fits into the document very properly okay uh, so but if you are creating say a legal size certificate okay in that case you it's recommended to use a legal size uh, uh, document for um, this image okay background image so um, usually most of the certificates are of a4 size these days so here i have created this so we will name it as something so here i have named this background as b1 i have another background which uh, i will also show this also i had used in some program few days back okay so yeah it was used in national mathematics day uh, quiz program that we had organized so this is the format of the background image and the certificate will be printed uh, on this okay so the space between the two logos will be used for writing the heading as we will see so it it depends on your artistic uh, say idea okay how to create the background images and all okay. so these are secondary as of now so let us uh, first learn how to uh, get prepared with the certificates okay so first of all we need the data of the participants so that data it's preferable to write the data in an excel sheet okay so here i am using in, in ubuntu we have this liber calc okay which is uh, similar to excel so what we can do is we can create some columns here say first column is for name say uh, just let me increase the front font size uh, Okay, say first column is for name, uh, second column is say for class or say the third column is for the institute. Okay, say uh, so here the first names of the of our participant is something like say A, B, C, D. Okay, the class is uh, say is in the 8th, 7th standard. Institute is uh, some, some school, okay, A, J school. Okay, so that way we can just enter the data in our excel sheet okay as per our participants list okay every workshop will have some list of participants okay so just we can create some um, uh, list of these participants say these things okay right and say this is plus 10 this is plus 11 this is class 12 okay so that way it's enough and uh, yeah the schools may be different okay say some DS school say some college college okay so that way we have uh, created one excel sheet okay next what we do we go to this file and save as or ex uh, yeah save as so there, the, here you have to choose the format. You have to save it as CSV format. Okay. So there is an option called 
csv yeah, text csv okay comma separated version right you have to save it as a csv file okay uh, yeah so you can put some name here say list uh, list dot csv okay so you can just click save so your csv file will be created so I'm not saving it now because I have already created the list here. Say this is the list that I had created for my program. Okay, so I am opening it with text editor to uh, yeah to let you know how this looks like. Okay, so a comma separated version file will look like this. Okay, so we have the first heading. This is name. The second heading is class okay the third heading is institute inst okay so you can uh, take it as any variable name say n the class may be represented as c okay institute may be represented as i or institute okay that depends on what you choose okay but these are the names of the participants say the first participant mr mahmud hussein barbuya of class 8 south point high school second participant mr diptan shu chakraborty okay like that so uh, these spaces are not necessary okay you can just you have to write it in the second line and you have to be careful about the comma okay after name you have to put this comma after this uh, eight you have to put this comma okay and all the um, fields should be uh, filled up with the proper detail that is name the first quantity should be name the second quantity should be class okay and the third quantity should be the school okay, that I had created okay uh, and uh, so organizers of workshop or um, conferences may like to add something like name institute and uh, name of the uh, title of the paper okay then the, that also can be done the title of the paper can be added here okay just uh, by so this class will be avoided so this certificate I had created for uh, a workshop for school students so that is why these are classes written here okay so anyway the, this is the CSV file right so we will save it here and we will keep it in the same folder where uh, we are creating our certificates okay next uh, we have this let us have a look at this text file so um, i i assume that uh, the viewers are uh, having uh, some idea about latex software okay so we are writing this in latex okay so i have opened it in latex right just let me just in, increase the font size okay editor font size is yeah, i hope it's visible okay so we have to create a file say sample certificates dot tex okay so in latex file uh, in the and this is the preamble part which starts with slash document class so this is the standard slash document class and, and, and it's a document of the type article and 12 point is the font font size default default font size of latex then we need some packages here so use package graphics it will be used for including those logos and other images inside our certificate Next is uh, for the package for margin. So we are using an A4 paper. The left margin is say 2.5 centimeter. The right margin is 2.5 centimeter. Top margin is 2.5 centimeter and the bo bottom margin is 2.5 centimeter. Okay. So this is what we have used. So this is the geometry package and we can customize this as per our requirement. If we need uh, some more margin, okay, we can give that. If we need less margin also, we can give that. So that depends on how you use it okay next we need some calligraphic font uh, the font that are used or usually used in certificates right so for that we need use package calligra okay then there are some other fonts also which i will show you after some time so for the time being i have uh, kept it as uh, we not commented okay we are not using it as of now inside this document next we need this package use package wallpaper this will be used to create the or to put the background image okay or, or the background design of the certificate next we need another tool that is for data from comma separated version file okay
okay that then the list that is stored in the comma separated version csv file has to be called inside this program okay and for this we need to use this use package data tool and slash dtl load db names list dot csv this is the name of the csv file that we had created okay if you just have a look this is the name so this name should match with the name that we are we are given here okay so next so these are some things which had have to be added in the preamble part and then we can start with begin document uh, then line spread this is just for creating some line spaces so here I have ca uh, kept the line space between uh, the space between two lines as 1.3. Okay. So that that also can be customized as per as per your requirement. Okay. Next we have this uh, page style empty, and yeah. So here we will put the background image slash style wallpaper. Then within brackets. So these are some commands that you will write. Okay. So you can just copy this one into paper width one into paper height okay so this is scaling factor so uh, in the beginning i told you that uh, if you are making an a4 size certificate it's better to make the image background uh, image design as a4 size so in that case uh, you don't need to scale it uh, right in order to fit so that is why it's just one into paper width one into paper height okay the image that i am using is of the same size as the paper that i have, I have mentioned okay that is a4 paper that's why the scaling factor is only one okay so it's uh, always better to do that right next uh, we will call the uh, yeah we will instruct what are the uh, names or what are the columns in our csv file okay so for that we have to write slash dtl for rich names slash name equal to name so this is the first column uh, that i had uh, that we had created in the uh, csv file the second column that we had created in the csv file okay and the third column that we have created in the csv file okay so in order to uh, put those uh, respective names so we have to use slash name okay slash name for putting the name we have to use slash class for putting the class okay that way so he, from here our certificate begins so initially we will have some heading so here we have we can use the central alignment begin center and center and then uh, we want the heading to be of a large font that is why we have written huge okay we want it to be of bold type that is why it's slash text bf okay so if you are using uh, if you have already used latex it, you will find it very familiar okay and those who have not used LaTeX, uh, for as of now, you just try to copy copy these things in LaTeX and try to install the LaTeX software and uh, copy these things and r run it. It's not, not that difficult. Okay, so three days uh, mathematics Olympiad orientation workshop, and this uh, double slash is for putting it into into the next line. Okay, so text be a fifth 11th 12th august 2018 so we had organized the workshop in three different dates okay so the, as per your uh, data you can just uh, write this heading okay next uh, we, we can write something like organized by so it's begin center and center organized by you can include the graph uh, here Lo logo <coughs> so here i have included the logo of my college gcc logo dot jpg but you have to be careful that the logo file should be in the same folder okay so here i have kept the logo file also here this is the logo dot jpg in the same folder so we can uh, include that file by writing include graphics okay so this is the scaling factor so it depends on uh, what is the size of your image so here i i, I had used scale equal to 0 0.25 okay <coughs> Uh, next uh, yeah organized by department of mathematics so that is also begin center and center okay uh, th this is a particular font that i have used okay i'll, I'll let you know mm, so begin center and center a large font okay so department of mathematics guru children college culture then begin center and center so this is the font for the calligraphy style slash calligra okay that is why i had used the package use package calligra Okay, so we want this certificate of participation to be written in calligraphic style, okay, calligraphic font. So 
that is why I have used it here. Next, uh, we begin our certificate. So it's normal font. Uh, this is in bold font. Certified that. Okay, certified that name slash name. So I don't want the name to be italics. So I have uh, just included the bracket here. So slash name certificate certified that slash name the name that we had used in our CSV file. See. So here we had written what is the command for the name it's slash name so we will use it here okay so certified certified that slash name text uh, italics again a student of class so here i will put slash class okay so the name of the student will be put here automatically then the okay, his class will be put here automatically his institute also will be put here automatically okay so we just need to uh, create the basic write-up of the certificate certified that name a student of class this uh, comma inst institute this participated in the three days mathematics olympiad workshop organized by department of mathematics guru general college teacher on this 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 okay so um, we have created this and then we can create some spaces and uh need some space for certificate uh, uh, signatures okay so for that we need uh, we can use the tabbing and environment of latex so begin tabbing and tabbing okay so you can get it from here itself uh, wizard quick quick tabbing okay from here we can so how many columns so here there are uh, i had used how many signatories uh, three signatories probably yeah no two, two signatories one is president another is coordinator okay so i'll use quick tabbing okay quick tabbing two columns and say two two rows okay two rows have been used here all right yeah so i have used um, yeah dated silcher then president coordinator okay uh, yeah so i have used two rows first row is for the date then the designation okay and the second row is again uh, for the actual uh, the, the, for writing the date okay and uh, for writing the names of the president and coordinator okay so i have used two rows and three columns okay i have used three columns here right so th this uh, slash and greater than or equal to this separates the columns okay this separates the columns so these are very uh, common latex command so i assume that you know this and last I, I have to write one slash new page okay so this will end our document so this is our the uh, certificate format we have already created okay next we have to just run this file okay so one thing is that you can go to this quick build okay quick build command and just run this file then what happens so you will see immediately lots of certificates as many names you have put in the csv file that many certificates will be generated okay so this is what uh, i had done three days mathematics olympiad orientation workshop okay so you see that it's written in large font because i had used that slash huge in our document okay in our original document we had used slash huge so that's a large font yeah so th this one i had used slash u huge here so it it has come in a very large font okay so we, we usually we want the heading to be large okay then organized by so that was written in a normal font organized by and the logo has also come here gc college then department of mathematics gc college silcher guru guru Chiran college silcher and then this is the calligraph font that i was talking about certificate of participation okay so i wanted that uh, this should be in calligraph font so that depends on how you are designing your certificate there are lots of fonts available in uh, you can just type it in google uh, fonts for latex okay lots of fonts are available you can just choose from them so certified certified that so here you observe what was the first name in our csv file let us just have a look the first name in our csv file was mr mahmud hassan Barbuya, so which who, who, who is a student of class 8 okay so certified that i i had written slash name so instead of name this uh, the first name has come here okay automatically 
there is no need of extra formatting here okay comma a student of class so the class has also come here right okay and uh, the class has also come here and so uh, the school has also come here south point high school participated in the then everything else has come okay and then if you see the signatory part so i had given v fill so there was some space between and then uh, this is data signature okay this is the first row of the tabbing environment this is the second row of the tabbing environment okay so the space uh, it depends on what image you you are using okay so i am using this particular image so i had designed the image uh, so the designing the image is actually dependent on the file that you are creating okay so i had designed the file first and after that i have seen what we are where uh, uh, what are the spaces available in the file and where i can put this background images where i can put this logo okay where i can put this plus minus sign since it's a mathematical program i try to use this mathematical uh, designs and all okay so it depends on your document as well okay so here you can see the first name has come here the second name the second name in the second file mr diptangshu chakraborty okay you can just have a look in the csv file the second name was diptangshu chakraborty class 9 maharshi vidya mandir okay so it has already come here right a student of class 9 so the spacing etc is done automatically by latex okay so it's very very simple all certificates have been created instantly just by running one a file okay so the third name is miss sneha de okay so we can just see verify from here the third name is sneha de class 10 maharshi vidya mandir okay so this has also been created right okay so many certificates have, have has been created asmita mujumdar okay everything has been created very very clearly very nicely okay there is no need of uh, extra formatting okay so this is what we have done so all the certificates have been created so here just let us have a look how many have been created sample certificates so you can just see how many are there 68 one of 68 right so you can just have a look here there are 68 names in this file okay yeah 68 68 certificates have been created okay instantly in a matter of seconds okay so uh, yeah so just let me uh, show you this uh, the use of this particular font uh, bold heading okay so this is sf family serif fonts family of latex okay you can get all these things uh, various types of font in the latex font catalog which you can search in google okay so if i if i use this here then what will happen uh, if i run it here okay so you can see this uh, department of mathematics guru charan college silchar has come into uh, in a new font okay uh, in a bold font okay i suppose i want to do the same thing with the heading then also i can do that okay so there is lots of scope to customize your uh, certificates so here if i write sf family okay and then i run this okay so yeah the, this is the font that is uh, created by this sf family bold font okay so it's uh, very, very much customizable okay suppose you want to change the background background image okay so i have another background here b dot png so what we will do we will just uh, change this okay suppose uh, suddenly you feel that this background is not proper okay you create another background in any photo editing software and you just want to replace it so uh, the the portion where we had called the background paper so in that portion just you will change the name of the background file okay and then run it okay so immediately the background will also change yeah so this is the background which has come now okay so as per our background we can just um, yeah. 
change the background just by changing the name of the file that we are using okay so this is another background but uh, here you see there is some problem the writing has come over the logo okay because this is not the background for this file that i had created okay so if i want to use this background then just have to reduce this uh, heading little bit or reduce the size of the logos okay that depends that depends on the file that you are using the design that you have made okay or the heading that you are writing okay so here you have to apply your own uh, idea own thinking okay so it's b1 jpeg okay so just let us write it nicely okay so this is the one uh, very similar to this let me uh, just show you another file that i had created for this other background okay the same the same thing the, uh, the writings are exactly same so you can get this latex document in the in a link to my google drive which i have given in the description in the video video and just download it and uh, run it using uh, of course a background image okay uh, and uh, your own logo so just you have to make some little bit changes here in b.png okay and the logo that I, that you are using okay you can just run this file so the, you will get the link in the description so just let me just run this this is another certificate that i had created so here you see there is some problem can't load database names uh, names.csv doesn't exist oh yeah so this um, this is what the name of our csv file is list okay so it's list.csv so let us see how this runs right uh, there are 68 names yeah so so this is for the uh, other file that i had created say 75 percent okay so see here uh, th this was the background that i had created for national mathematics day 22nd december 2019 which was organized by assam academy of mathematics achar district branch in collaboration with department of mathematics guru Charan college okay it was a quiz competition okay so i had used uh, this type of images and yeah this was for runner up probably so this is to certify that mr this oh, see all the names have been printed here okay participated in this 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 okay these are the signatories right so immediately you can just create all the certificates okay so i hope uh, you have uh, understood the method for creating the certificates and uh, please uh, you are free to download those uh the source file the latex file in the description given in the link and do let me know if you have uh, any any doubts okay thank you